Hey guys, here's a quick review for the movie, Jesus Revolution. I watched this movie just today, uh, the day of recording this, which would be Thursday. And I am gonna get my thoughts right after watching it on the movie. A little insight into my thoughts going into this. I am, you can see based on what, the way I dress, I am not the biggest hippie type person. I like being professional. I like, you know, that I'm English and I have German in me, and so I like being proper. So it can be understand, it's understandable why when I say I am not the biggest fan of hippies. I don't like the idea of hippies. I don't like what they stand for, all kind of stuff. I just don't like it. And it's a big joke in my family. My One of my little sisters keeps making jokes about how I'm gonna marry this hippie and I'm gonna be like, I mean, have to go all hippie, you know, because it's so far away from what I could ever do because I'm just not that type of person. I, I would have to say that some stuff the hippies can be peace and stuff like that are good things. There's a lot of things the hippies believe that I'm very much strongly against and all, and I'm like, I don't know. I just don't like hippies that much. So that's my thoughts going into this is, of course, I. the other thing is I am was raised charismatic, meaning basically that I, as a Christian, while I did have some times when I went to like, you know, mass and all, and it was more traditional and all, there was a lot of times I was like, from a very young age, uh, my family was a part of a prayer group that would meet on Sunday nights and we would have praise and worship. I, I was like, from a very young age, like taught all the stuff about charismatics and speaking in tongues and praying over people and all kinds of stuff. So I understand that all. And I, so I love that. I love all that type of stuff. But I'm also one of those people who I like traditional stuff and I like being able to go to mass and chant in Latin. I like that type of stuff. So that's my thoughts going into this. So you understand like, I mean, going into this movie, I'm not the biggest fan of hippies. I watched it kind of like, okay, yeah, it has John, it has Jonathan Rumi in it. Like, okay, I mean, looks kind of good. The more I learned about it, the more I was like trying to draw away. I'm like, I don't know, it sounds hippie-like, and uh, I don't know. But when I watched it, I thought, it's good. Is it the movie for me? Probably not. But it's one of those movies that I recommend it to like my mom and people like that who are that type of charismatic type person who you mean, dance around the room and are you know, more alive like that, while people like my dad and I are more like, stand straight. You know, uh, that's just the way I find Jesus, is through not trying to overly be hyper and all kind of stuff. I, you know, be straight, be proper. That's my way. That's just, and God sometimes helps me break through that, and sometimes God meets me where I'm at. Uh, so the thing is, when it comes to that, that's one of the big problems, is that I, this movie is very much going at the idea that you have to let go of that stuff to find Jesus. And it's not fully true, but I do find there's a lot of good messages in this. One of the biggest things that people talk about is that message of not judging someone by the, not judging a book by its cover, understanding, looking at this stuff from a different light, right? The beginning of the movie, we follow a pastor who hates hippies. He hates everything about hippies. He's, I mean, a lot like me. And, I mean, there's problems with hippies, right? Just, I'm not gonna get into all the problems with hippies because this is not a video about how terrible hippies are, but there's some problems with hippies, with drugs, and all that kind of stuff. And you really is like, I mean, stay away from those people. And so then, he doesn't want to convert the hippies. He doesn't want to do anything with the hippies because the hippies, he believes, are too far gone. There's no point in saving them. He has a dead church, but eventually, there's one Christian hippie who's in fire with Jesus, he loves Jesus, says, we need to, do you see these people out there? Do you see all these hippies on the street? Do you see all, these people need God. They need God because they are searching for something and that thing is God. They need God. You will have the ability to show it to them. He's like, okay. So he starts inviting some hippies to his church and eventually, the more he gets used to this and the more he like gets used to the hippies and all, the bigger the crowd gets and soon he's he can't fit them in this small little church. They have that they have to fill tents for all. They they're bap they're baptizing by the thousands. It's like incredible what's happening. 
because they're taking these people who are longing for something. They're using drugs to try to get that longing that they need, and the longing they were looking for was God. This is a real thing that happened with the Jesus Revolution. These people, all these hippies are going to God and realizing that what they really needed was God. Very beautiful thing. It doesn't change the fact that I'm uncomfortable with hippies. And that's what that's something that they're talking about in this movie is that, and I think that's really great. One thing I noticed about this movie is that they, by the end of the movie, the pastor got used to hippies, but it never quite out said that he was not still uncomfortable with hippies. The fact of the matter is people who don't wear shoes, people who like don't take baths and all kind of stuff, that, that, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. People who like, oh, it's, oh, I'm in tune with nature. It's just, it's just weird. But the fact of the matter is you have to find those people and draw them in Sometimes they're gonna change some of their ways, but sometimes they're not. I mean, they take, they don't do drugs anymore. They do all this stuff. They don't just sleep around. All this skirts, all the stuff that they get, they, they change in their life. But the problem is, they still, they still have the hippie things. And yeah, we have to get used to those people as they are. But fact the matter is, yeah, I like it how they did not try to say that he just got used to them and everything was normal and he just loved them and. Like everything was normal and they just got over their ways or he just got over his bias towards them. It's still like, I, I, you mean, if I was living those times, I would love to have, I would love to have seen all the hippies come in and become Christian and love Jesus the way I do and all. But it's all, it's always going to, it would always be a problem with me. The feeling like, yeah, yeah, I'll give you a hug and all and all. Like, I mean, they'd, but it was always just like step away at a little bit and to be like, I need to have my space away from you because... You're kind of crazy. You're kind of crazy. You're really, it's just, I, mean, I, I don't know, hippies. I, I just, they're weird. And if there's any hippies watching, I, sorry if I'm insulting you and I'm, I, I'm not trying to overly insult you. I just, I mean, you kind of trying to get used to the things. There's less hippies nowadays in some ways and loved everyone, but I, I don't know. It's just, there's some things about hippies that just, it's just, it's just a little weird. I, I don't know. I just don't like hippies that much. But hey, if any of you guys are hippie-like people, if you can find God in that, and you can find God with that, that's what you can. And the fact of the matter is, I think that's a big thing we need to work on as Christians and all, is instead of having this argument of, like, I know I run into this problem a lot where I live, there's a lot of traditional people and there are a lot of charismatic people. And I feel like there's this divide and the charismatic people try to say that it's just the traditional people and the traditional people are kind of the same way and i keep trying to mention that to the two groups like hey guys do you not see that the other group is just saying the same thing as you like the fact of the matter is there's going to be people who are like traditional stuff and there's going to be people who like charismatic stuff i'm one of the people who like both of them i like going to adoration and being able to pray go to adoration and praise God with praise and worship, but I also like going to adoration and chanting in Latin. Like, you mean, it's both good. I like both of them. That's a big thing that we, that as Christians, we should keep in mind is that you need to find God in whatever you can find God in, but the same way, do not doubt what other people, if other people find God in Latin, that's how they find, that, that's the, they, that's their way that God finds them. Don't tell everyone that they have to be charismatic to be, to find God, or they have to be traditional to find God. If people are more li alive with God because of being charismatic, then good for them. If people are more alive because they can go to a Latin mass and chant in Latin, good for them. Good, good for them. Both are good, and that's the problem, is we are in a society where we're trying to say that both, you can't have both are good. You have to be either on one side or another, or another. I hate that. I hate how we are trying to divide the church, you know. We need to be together as one church. And I think that's somewhat happening with the charismatic people is that, you mean, that's what I was saying, I like going to adoration and being able to praise God in adoration. That's something that the charismatic people are now starting to do, is they're actually starting to, hey, let's go to, ad we can go to adoration and praise God. Instead of saying, 
tense are the only way to do it. Tense, and you have to like bounce up and down and jump with God. It's just like, no. Like, have you listened to some of the slower place worship music? It's beautiful with the words and all, but it's great to meditate with, not just jump up and down with. Charismatic does not mean you need to jump up and down. This is how I keep I keep having to tell this to people who believe that being charismatic means you have to be hyper and have to be jumping up and down all the time. That does not mean charismatic. Charismatic means you are alive with Christ in a charismatic way. You you want to spread God's word in a charismatic way, in a way that's just like yeah, you want to they bring joy, but it does not mean you need to jump up and down. It's kind of annoying. How people, it's kind of annoying how people think that. Anyways, but that was a long rant about something that really is not exactly this movie. This movie itself is good. The visuals, I the last, <laughs> the last movies I've been watching, seeing this one is, yeah, with, you mean, The Chosen and with Risen and stuff like that, I, it's good to see a movie with just, Visually, it actually looks good and not dark and gloomy. I like that. I like I like seeing that again. It was nice seeing a gl not gloomy movie again. It was awesome. That was good. I liked the visuals. The music in this, while it's not my favorite music, it was good. It was memorable. I liked the music. It, it wasn't my favorite music, but I mean, there were some songs I knew, and there's also some songs I don't know, and I mean, all, overall, all the music was good. This movie is actually really, really funny, too. It's hilarious with some of the jokes, but it also can get serious sometimes. I was, one thing I really liked about this was that at the closer to the end of the movie, you have like, they're, they're kind of on a high with the Christ, with Christ, and they're like, yeah, Jesus is the best, Jesus is awesome. And then you have it all crumbling down, and they're like, you see that they don't lose their faith, but you can say, it shows like, you mean, yes, hard times ahead. I keep on explaining this to you, like, you mean, People, I know back when I was in high school, I went to like, you know, retreats and all. And what we call what we called it the conference high, because you got this, yeah, I'm gonna do anything for Christ, I'm gonna do anything. And then you go back to the world again, you go back into normal life, and then you're like crushed down with all this stuff, all these, this sin that's like being pushed back on you again. And you're like, I can't hold it. So you have to really like push through if, with it and turn it from a conference high to an actual like conversion. I think this that really like shows us in this movie is like the conference high and once they got over the conference high and there was just like all the stuff that pushing against them and they're like still found God in that. And that's really I really like that. The cast in this movie is another good thing. I really like the cast and I think they cast almost every character right. Uh Jonathan Rumi's he was awesome as the one character, uh, all the char the pastor was good. Every character was like, well cast, and all really liked it. Good job, guys, with that. That was enjoyable. Um, yeah, there's a moment. There's this cameo in this that's just it's too good to. I won't spoil it, but it's it's really really good. I really like that cameo. It's hilarious. This whole movie has hilarious moments in it, and then it has like heartwarming moments. But overall, I would have to say this movie, to sum it up, it's, it's a powerful movie for the right people. It may not be perfect for everyone. I know for me, it had some good moments in it. I liked some of the messages in it. But overall, I felt like it was one of those things where the whole time I was watching, I'm like, I should introduce this to people who would actually like this. Because people who actually like this would like it. It had a good message in it. It was a good story. The writing wasn't the greatest. It was, of course, it was a Christian written movie. But the overall thing is, it's not bad, it's actually honestly pretty good, but it has to be for the right people. It's a powerful, for like people like me, it's just like, oh, that was good. For people who, it, who it's meant for, it's a powerful story about conversion. These like hippies and these people who are like trying to find God and looking in the wrong places and they, boom. Now they found God in the right place. And it, it's a beautiful story. So overall, guys, if you have you guys seen Jesus Revolution, if you haven't yet, check it out. It has some hilarious moments, some really heartwarming moments, it has some powerful moments. It's a good movie. 
on this conversion of a group of people who were looking for Christ and they found him in this church. It's a true story. It's, it's pretty good. I especially want to uh, especially say check it out because there's that one cameo that's in it. I love it. It's awesome. I won't spoil what the cameo is, but it's awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Tell, uh, if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe. This has been the Movie Night Review. Peter Wary, signing off.